Red Hat Certified System Administrator the boot, reboot and shut down the system normally steps so we've got uh, a few steps and they all require sudo in most places so we can just do sudo bash to at least get the uh, sudo shell first um, so we've got reboot self explanatory so there's quite a few different commands for reboots there's just the general reboot that one the shortest and most people would just use that one but there's other ones here so it's systemctl so you don't come up a lot of systemctl so that's got a lot of functions but again one of them is the reboot option we've got the so just do reboot like that so you can see each one as we go along TL reboot just control C them all shut down minus R now it's a bit of a classic that one that should still work so shut down obviously shut down but your minus R means reboot and a t a time so you can set a time but you also can set messages with this one so it's obviously a very useful um, command this one Um, we've got inits, so it's the run level. So you can init six, which essentially reboots it, and init zero shuts it down. So we'll just do an yeah, init. Just put that back. Sorry, just put init six and cancel that. Okay, and all that tell init. It's a very similar to command, and six again. So it's the same. So now we're going to do. Uh, so that's all the reboot commands. Yep. Yeah. Type this command in here, kit enter, and you'll reboot. Okay, there's nothing real to it. Uh, let's just clear the screen. Let's clear. Okay, so now to shut down the system completely. So, again, there's a few commands for this. Um, we can do this. So, this is just to, this is to do a proper halt. But there's also just some very quick ones just to completely shut it down as if the power's been uh, pulled out. So, maybe if the process is stuck and we can't get it to shut down. So there's a halt system again system ctl halt yep it zero is to shut down tell in it zero okay so pre and then finally shut down it's the most common one again minus h now so you can put messages with this one. So, for example, you can see you've got time, uh, you've got function. Just a man actually on shutdown. Might be a bit better uh, for this. Got to help, halt, power, free boot, etc. Um, you can also have a cancel, etc. So, you've got a bit of time and stuff like that. And then finally, to to uh, completely switch it off, we've got the power off. So this is just a com to completely kill the machine off, immediate shutdown. This is the uh, power off. And strange enough, system CTL power off. That's those two. So I'll just show you the qu quickly show you the difference between those two commands. So we've got the Let's do shutdown minus h now. You can see it's it's processing the shutdown. It's not immediate. See, just minimize that for a second. Okay, and just restart the EVM. Just be two seconds. So we're now back at the prompt. So I will just do show you the power off command and just the difference there. See, immediate shutdown. So that's the difference between those two commands. And finally, there's some um, more advanced commands for. Uh, some more advanced power management. So there's uh, three commands I'd recommend to learn. There's they're all based on the system CTL uh, command line. So if if you had to look f uh, throughout the common command line, there is actually the system CTL. So 
if you had to learn any of those commands I would learn that system CTL with the various options at halt, uh, reboot, uh, power off and then with these additional ones here so the system CTL and we got suspend and that suspends the system obviously we've got system CTL hibernate puts it into hibernate and finally there's uh, option to put it in hibernate and suspend which is the hybrid sleep which uh, you may be familiar with with Windows um, I think it's Windows 7 it introduced it that's that's a lot so um, there is a man page of course on all these commands as always so have a look there and you should be able to see all the uh, various options in here it's, it's, it's a large man page for this particular command because it it doesn't just do that, it does obviously services um, yeah it's a long list of things you can do in here so it's set run levels etc um, but yeah worth reading obviously the man page is all useful um, so that covers that particular uh, section in the Red Hat Certified System Administrator or RHCSA I hope you find this video useful uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.